And now your host, Richard R.J. Escal. Welcome back to the program. Good to have you back. One thing that's clear is we will never have the economic justice we deserve as a people. We won't have the racial uh, imbalances corrected. We won't have the uh, imbalance or the unfair economic conditions that younger generations are faced with. We won't have economic inequality uh, among all all groups and uh, all ethnic groups that we see today. We won't have the impoverishment we now see in rural and urban areas both until we have a labor movement strong enough to challenge all these things. The labor movement in this country is the one that pushed back at the robber barons and the monopolies of the past, along with elected officials and others. The labor movement in this country is what gave us the 40-hour work week, which is being radically eroded today. The labor movement is what gave us uh, the ability to get weekends off, which is also being radically eroded today. We are facing a moment in history where the hard-won rights of workers are being taken away by the gig economy, by financial insecurity, by uh, friendly corporate-friendly laws passed by Congress and by state legislatures. We are at a moment where we need to renew and strengthen and expand the labor movement in this country so that it takes a leadership role in our economy and in our society the way it once did, and perhaps even more so. Now, I say all this by way of saying that right now, Congress has a bill in front of it that uh, which frankly doesn't do everything I think we need to do for the labor movement, but is a gigantic step forward. It's called the PRO Act that stands for Protecting the Right to Organize Act, and it is absolutely imperative that this bill be passed. Just a little bit more about it. Uh, it was introduced by Senators Patty Murray and Jackie Rosen and by Representatives Bobby Scott, Frederica Wilson, Andy Levin, Pramila Jayapal, and Brendan Boyle. It is critically important uh, that this bill be passed as a first step. It will allow uh, for stronger remedies, solutions, fixes when employers interfere with work workers' rights, which they're doing like crazy, right and left. We're seeing that with Amazon right now and Amazon's unionization efforts, uh, or rather I should say workers' unionization efforts and Amazon's efforts to sabotage them. Uh, it would strengthen workers' rights to join a union and collectively bargain, and it would uh, make sure that the rules that are rigged against workers are undone. The PRO Act absolutely must be passed. So I encourage all of you to contact your senators and representatives and let them know that you want to see this bill pass. I would also, if there's any opportunity in your workplace to organize, please go out there and organize. 